Well, inflation in the United States slowed again last month, hitting the lowest level since December 2021, and the latest sign that price increases are cooling amid continuous Fed rate hikes. Now, data from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics show that consumer prices rose 7.1 percent in November from a year ago. That was down from the 7.7 percent increase in October and also significantly lower than the recent peak of inflation of 9.1 percent back in June this year. U.S. consumer inflation has now declined for the fifth straight month. Core inflation, which excludes volatile food and energy costs and which the Federal Reserve tracks closely, also slowed to 6 percent compared with a year earlier. And the prices of fuel, electricity, health care, airline fares and hotel rooms all dropped in the U.S. in November. However, grocery prices remain a trouble spot as they surged by 12 percent in November compared with a year ago. But all told, the 7.1 percent inflation in November, marking five consecutive months of drops in inflation, provided the strongest evidence to date that inflation in the United States is steadily slowing after it reached a four-decade high earlier this year. Now, U.S. President Joe Biden also hailed the latest inflation report released on Tuesday morning, saying it shows that his economic morning, plan is uh, working. Still, President New Biden admits that, quote, prices are still too high, adding that, that, quote, we have a lot more work to do, end quote. And we learned last month's inflation rate. In a world where inflation is rising at double digits in many major economies around the world, inflation is coming down in America. In fact, this new report is the fifth month in a row where annual inflation has fallen in the United States. Inflation outside of food and energy, uh, a key measure of, uh, that economists use, also fell. Make no mistake, prices are still too high. We have a lot more work to do, but things are getting better, headed in the right direction. Most Americans can see the progress driving down the street, finding relief at the pump as gas prices fall. Gas prices are now lower than they were a year ago, and half the gas stations selling gas at, are selling gas at $3.09 or less.